You believe a lot of the technology that all of us use every day in our cell phones and the internet was pioneered by the porn industry. Yeah, really, really. This, mm -hmm. We found this to be very interesting. In tonight's Fox Docs, well, Lisa Evers has the untold story of how the adult film industry has changed our lives without us even knowing it. A lot of good things have come from porn, for sure. Really, really good things, really big steps in technology. Whoa. The adult industry basically invented that. In our industry, unlike Hollywood, we have no red tape. You may not realize it, but the adult entertainment industry, love it or hate it, has been the driving force behind some of the most common technological advances. Everything from VHS to DVD and Blu-ray, and even online credit card payments. It seems Logan's having reservations about joining our team. This isn't the X-Men, it's the Triple X-Men, a porn parody by Vivid Entertainment, the production and distribution company Steve Hirsch founded in 1984. We sort of done it all and seen it all and watched the industry evolve to where it is today. During his 30 years as a major player in the multi-billion dollar industry, Hirsch has been on the cutting edge of tech innovations that later became mainstream. You have to, you know, uh, uh, see what's coming and, and do it first, whether it was, you know, the VCR where, where Hollywood wasn't really interested in putting their movies out on tape and then moving on to DVD and then Blu-ray and then ultimately on to the Internet. Flashback to the 1970s and the invention of the Betamax tape deck by Sony. For the first time, you could watch a film in the privacy of your own home, but there was a drawback. It was only an hour long. Less than two years later, VHS came on the market with a new format. So for instance, there's Betamax, which lasted only an hour. The quality was good, but there's VHS, which lasted about three hours each tape. So because of that, and people wanting to see porn for longer, uh, Betamax was killed. The growing accessibility of the internet was a game changer. The push for high-speed modems and broadband was really a result of the adult industry because people wanted to see adult quick. They wanted to see it faster. The pornography industry was the first one to really use streaming JPEG push video where um, you didn't have to open it in a new application. You could just open up a video in within a browser. The internet gave birth to VOD or video on demand. The VOD technology became the basis for services like Hulu and Netflix. But before that could happen, they had to work out how to pay for it. There was a need there for technology to support the infrastructure of porn distribution but there was none out there. Colin Roundtree is the president of Wasteland Entertainment, one of the internet's premier specialty sites. Right on the set. Our industry um, pretty much put together anything from streaming video to digital video technology to video chat. The reason why you can buy things at Amazon on your credit card today is early adult industry people develop systems for fraud control and secure um, use of credit cards on the internet. So all these companies like Amazon and eBay and others really owe kind of a debt of gratitude. And a lot of the folks that work in these industries will admit that, that it was the, the pornography industry early on that really figured out how to monetize, how to get a buck out of the internet. The technological advances show no sign of slowing down. The experts predict the future will include whatever makes the experience more real, like haptics. That's the technology in your console game controller and the touch vibration on your smartphone, basically the sense of touch. I think augmented reality is going to be a big thing. So, you know, whether it's putting on glasses or holding up your phone and seeing something that's not there, but seeing it through your vision. So whether it's through Google Glass or an app in your iPhone, I think augmented reality will be a big next step. Adult filmmakers are regulated by state laws, with federal laws mostly concerned with child pornography. The adult entertainment industry regards child pornography as criminal behavior. Former prosecutor Xavier Donaldson says the law can barely keep up with new technology. Just about every month or every two or three months, there's some new court interpreting what uh, qualifies as obscene, what qualifies as obscenity as it relates to pornography. No matter what the change is, the adult entertainment industry plans to stay on the leading edge of what's new and what delivers. I don't think that there's any question that the adult industry sort of pushes technology along. Uh, it would be untrue for me to say that we come up with all of the great ideas because that's just not true. 
but the adult industry has certainly contributed and probably more than their fair share. Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News. Well, we reached out to the mainstream companies that were featured in tonight's Fox doc, and would you believe nobody wanted to talk to us? Only Netflix responded saying no comment, but Netflix wanted to make sure that we point out that it does not stream porn. We get it. We understand. Right, fair enough. For the record.